But they never knew that beyond that, Jesus, God wanted to give them life. His big picture was to restore man back to him. That is the reason why when you are going through certain crises and troubles and pain in your life, I agree that you have come to realize that God is taking you through a process. But don't you realize that at some point God would have been compassionate enough to just remove you from that trouble. It is too much to bear. However, he did not remove you because he knows that you are not going to crumble or cr be crushed in that process. But he's seen a bigger picture that your crushing will be for the rising of many. That's why he leaves you in that furnace. Job said, after he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. So the bigger picture is what you should look at. Look at the agenda of this kingdom, not looking at how much you can get. You know, we have reduced Christianity now to bread and tea. It's all about coming to church and let's have a pastor that is a superman and a powerful man. And I'm not against the power of God. We believe in it here. If we didn't, we were the Pharisees then. But God is beyond that. You ask yourself, this eternal God that is so well spoken of, is this all that is about? Show you that He can heal, show you that He can provide for you and give you miracle alert, that He can help you pass your exam. Is there not something much more than life? And for somebody here, that thing that is much more than just this daily experience of livelihood, which is called divine purpose. Within the course of these three days, a revelation will come from heaven and lead your life. And God will relocate you to the center of His will for your life. It's something more than gold and silver, cars and houses. They are good. But having those things without understanding your divine purpose of God, those are just tools for this 